Hey guys, I wanted to just take a minute and walk you through how I use ShipStation to ship all of my packages. I just discovered ShipStation um, only a couple weeks ago. I started using it in the beginning of December 2017 and is now only the 9th of January 2018, but I love it. It's everything that I was looking for that I didn't know existed. So what's really important to me right now is that it integrates with PayPal because that is how I invoice all of my customers. So to have something that integrates with PayPal and pulls that customer information is so crucial to me and it's a deal breaker when I'm looking for um, a shipping service. I used to use stamps.com and it did that as well, but it just didn't have some of the bells and whistles that I was hoping I could find, um, but just never had. So there's my plug for ShipStation. What you're gonna do when you first sign up and you can get a 30 day trial, which I highly recommend, is you're gonna set up, it actually you set up a stamps.com account. Now I already had a stamps.com account, um, so it utilized my login information for that, but if you don't, you go ahead and just simply sign in. Now you don't pay separately for stamps.com, you're only gonna just pay for ShipStation. Then you're gonna tell it what your selling channel is for this purpose, we'll just talk about PayPal, because that's what I use and understand. You're going to um, just click to set up, and it's gonna walk you through the steps to set up and to link it with PayPal. Once you've done that, it's gonna have all the information it needs to pull all of your order history into your account, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a few minutes, and I think you guys are gonna be so excited. Over here, you're gonna go to Setup, or the Settings. And before you start trying to print labels and get all fancy, work your way through these first. Start with the customer communication. The email templates, these are templates um, that they send to your customers. This is a shipping template. So this is the email that my customers receive when their shipment is sent. Then you can choose to have a delivery notification, which I think is awesome. So I send that to my customers. This is a notification that they get when it's delivered. So this is really helpful in case there's any issue with the delivery. If they get an email and it says, hey, yay, your package got delivered and they don't have anything, they know to contact me right away and we don't wait weeks to find out that there's an issue. So if you go in here, there is already a default and you can see what their default is and you can change all of this. You can make it as pretty as you want it to be. Now, I am super busy and I am also like not very like inclined graphically inclined so I just made some very basic adjustments to this information and saved it but like look how cool you could be like if you wanted to be awesome you could change all kinds of stuff with that so those are that and the other thing we have is packing slips so one of the things that I was excited to do was to start printing packing slips and the reason why this was important is because many of my customers um, order multiple products and I'm not the person that does the shipping. My husband is at home full time and his job in our company is to deal with all of the numbers and to package and ship. So I'm not the person packing. So if I don't pull the right thing for one of my customers, if I was shipping it, I'd probably catch it, but I'm not shipping it. So now he knows, hey, I need to look for a dolman and two pairs of leggings, but there's only one pair of leggings. I better go ask Lauren about that. So you can set those up here. And I have it set up to go on a four by six because I'm just having it print on my Dymo labels because that is what I print my labels on. And I did do a cost analysis to decide whether or not I thought this was worth it. And printing on a Dymo label cost me about um, five cents per label. And I was losing about 40 to $80 a month in a profit margin by um, shipping the wrong item or by missing items and packages and having to resend them and eat that shipping cost a second time. So for me, well, well worth it. Printing. So then you're going to set up printing. You need to set up Ship Connect. Ship Connect is something that you need to download on your computer and it's going to enable you. You can see my Dymo printer set up in my husband's office. That's his name. So then we have the Dymo set up and then all the other printers are disabled because I don't want to use any of those. I only want to use the Dymo. It's super simple. You just click this button. It walks you through it really, really easy. I am so not like not a techie person and I was able to do it all by myself. And then you can click document options. So now you can see that I have labels here. The return labels come with the packing slip. I want packing slips with always with every label. And then for end of day forms, it's gonna prompt. And then order summary prompt, pick list prompt, shipping manifest. Because those are things I don't use, so I don't want them to print automatically. 
The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up under label shipping carriers. So I only use United States Postal Service and we have a stamps.com account. So you can see that here. Ship from location. So you're going to want to put your business location that you ship from. We happen to use a um, UPS store mailbox. It's something that as my business grew, um, it was easier for us to have a, a, like a post office box or a mailbox at mailbox except or um, the UPS store, other than having the packages delivered to our house and not fitting in the mailbox or um, any issues like that. And then package type. Okay, so for me, this is super important because I do ship a lot. Um, you'll see that in just a second when we go over kind of the insight screens. So I do not want to have to go through every single order and like click and select down from a menu. I want to be able to very quickly um, click a number of boxes and to be able to tell it how I want it to ship. So I want to be able to ship as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So I needed package. All of the, these are all the things that I'm going to be shown in my um, selection. And then I can set up, these are like, these are like presets. So this is what I use for every single package I ship. So I have a first class at 10 ounces, a first class at 15 ounces, a first class at five ounces, a large flat rate box, medium flat rate box, priority padded mailers, regional A and regional B. Every single thing I send for my business is in one of these. So I can very easily have the collect, select the preset. If I'm shipping a pair of leggings, I know that's five ounces. I click select and I'm ready to go. So the next or, the tab you're gonna go through is the orders tab. And I'm just gonna, looks like it's thinking. It's thinking for a moment. Oh, technology doesn't always want to cooperate with us. This is what ShipStation does when it's like thinking. It has this cute little like gear, green gear in the middle of the screen, which I just think is darling. And I might, okay, I think we're going to be okay. So I'm just going to click the reload button and I'm just going to move this over here so that we can do this without, without seeing names. Okay, so this is gonna be my order screen that are waiting for shipment. If I click up here on this little, this little arrow button, I can update my stores simply by clicking the arrow. So if I have any other orders besides these four that were already loaded, I can just click the reload and then I can set them up. Now, if I'm ready to ship these, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the order. I'm going to apply the preset. I'm gonna select what the item is, and then I'm gonna create a label. Now, once I create the label, it's gonna print automatically with a packing slip to my Dymo, which is awesome. If I go under here, it's gonna show me all of my shipped orders so I can search. If I need to um, do a return, it's so super simple. I'm gonna show you that right now. And you can just click reload on the, sometimes it takes just a minute. And then I'm going to save like the most exciting thing for last. And I think that when you guys see this last part, you guys are going to be so excited to try ShipStation. I have just been like so excited for this. Okay, so we're all loaded. So let's say that um, this person right here, let's just say that they wanted to do, um, I needed to do a return for them. Uh, you know what, let me see if I can find. Okay, so I'm not gonna click into an actual order because I don't wanna show you any personal information, but let's just say that you need to do a return for that person. All you're gonna do is come over here you're gonna come down to this order, you're gonna click on it, and inside that is gonna be all that information about that customer. That customer's address, the shipping, the tracking information, and there's gonna be a little button, 
and it says you actually can do it from this screen too. Okay, so right here, you can just click create return. And what that's going to do is that is going to populate after you follow the prompts, it's going to populate a label to be sent to them for the exact packaging for how you sent that to the customer. And you can select items that are going to be returned. You can give reasons why. You can return partial deliveries, full deliveries. It's so, so super user friendly. It's so intuitive. It's like, it's just awesome. You're going to totally love this. Okay, this is my favorite part. If you click on the insights tab, I feel like I need like music, like da da da. It's like everything I've ever wanted for my business. I've been in business for just nearly 18 months and I've only found this on December 16th and I am just like so kicking myself for not have found it earlier. This is everything I've ever wanted to know. This is telling me exactly how many orders I've shipped, how many orders are ready to ship in a time period. So since I found it on December 16th, I have shipped 367 orders. So you can see I do do a large volume. Okay, this is even better. So I charge flat rate shipping and um, typically I'm charging a few dollars over what the person's paying. However, um, sometimes I will surprise a customer and do free shipping. There are shipping promotions with our company from time to time that we can choose to participate in or choose not to. I have participated in them um, frequently. And I also often do um, size exchanges um, and pay for return shipping on certain returns. And I, I always kind of felt like that washed out, but this button right here, operations, that shows me it hasn't washed out at all. So I can really quickly see that I shipped 144. The shipping revenue was this, so this is what I collected for shipping from customers. This is what it cost me to ship those items. So wow, I have a $693.55 deficit for shipping just since the 16th of December, and it's only the 9th of January. So this is such, such great information, and I just, I can't believe I didn't have it before. Um, so it's so awesome that it's right here. I don't have to like go bug my CPA for it. I don't have to go digging around in GoDaddy for it. Like it's just a click away. Then in customer engagement will not be relevant for me because I only use PayPal and I don't have an e-commerce store. Sales trends is really cool. So my sales trends tab tells me, so that's my sales since December 16th, which is pretty awesome. These are the number of customers. Now when it says new customers, I just started. So every customer is going to be new um, according to my, according to ShipStation. Had I started using this at the beginning of my business, that would be accurate. Um, 371 orders. $81.57 is my average order value, so that's important for me to know. And then it also gives me sales, my top five um, products by revenue. So I know that swing tunics were my highest revenue, um, leggings were my second, boyfriend cardigans were my third, distressed jeggings were my fourth, and cable knit pullovers were my fifth. So now I know where I need to focus my inventory purchases. My customer overview tab is pretty awesome too. It is gonna tell me my five most valuable customers. It's gonna tell me the states that my customers live in. It's gonna give me lots of valuable customer information. Product highlights is another one. So I had 886 um, total products. I had 87 unique products, so I, that's like a skew. Um, and then average products per order is one. So some of my customers order five and some of my customers order one and that must average out to one per order. Again, it's showing me top five products by revenue and then it's telling me top five products by quantity and you can see my free shipping is up there. So in December, we were allowed to do free shipping as a promotion. I did utilize that for a large part of the month and you can see that that is um, one of the top things that I invoice for. I invoice just as many free shipping invoices as I did swing tunics. And then you have a whole reports tab. So you can run all kinds of reports. If that wasn't good enough, you can run even more reports. So, and then we also have a customers tab. And that is just gonna show you really detailed information about all of your customers and really great, um, really great ways for you to kind of see who your valuable customers are, who your VIPs are who your um, maybe lost customers are that you can reach out to. So, so much amazing, great information. I am just 
so excited. I've been using this since the 16th. I'm thrilled with it. There's nothing that I don't love, love, love. The only regret is just that I didn't start it the first day that I was in business. So if you have been struggling with your shipping platform or if you don't love yours, I would highly recommend ShipStation. It's awesome. Um, they have really great customer service too. I have not had to use their customer service to help me set it up. It was really easy to use and user friendly for me. Um, but they did reach out to me a couple times and offer to help, which I so appreciate because I'm a super busy business owner. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that um, you are able to utilize this year in your business. And I look forward to talking to you guys more soon. Bye, guys.